We are very different. That's all I need to know. Thank you. I don't no, have no, time. no, 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 Jack. Please, let me talk. Oh, you have good night. No, but we can be friends. You night. don't want to be my friend. <laughs> You know, I'm 40 years old. I ain't got time for that bull. Got him. He was like, nah, I ain't stupid. You want to keep me emotionally invested as backup. All guys need to be like this going into 2024. No room for simping. She was not expecting that response. I've decided to move into another direction. That's how you feel. I gotta respect it. And that's all you have to say. If that's how I feel. Boys, there is nothing better than a woman saying to you, hey, we're done. I don't feel like you're doing this and this. And you just say, okay, that's how you feel. Bro, mic drop. Because a lot of the times what women do, they give you the fear of abandonment with hopes that you get on your knees and you beg and you plead. And when you don't, oh my God. Congratulations, you played yourself. There wasn't even nothing in that bottle he drank, but I'm pretty sure he was drinking freedom. And his explanation was exactly right. Women like to play these stupid games, we all know. As soon as a girl says to you, oh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, going to take a break. You know, I just want some space. That means she's going to get whacked by another guy. You show her where the door is, you help pack her shit, and you say, get the hell out of my house. And she'll probably love you more for that. That's how messed up some girls are, man. There's not a guy friend that exists that doesn't want to sleep with a woman. If it were the case, then why don't guys have fat girl friends? They generally don't. You don't see, do you have, you know a guy that has a friend that's a girl, so he's, I don't. And if the opportunity was presented to that man, he would sleep with her, a thousand percent of the time. Guys play friend zone game all the time. I ain't never seen a man that I fucking need, bitch. You're all replaceable, don't ever get too comfortable, and don't ever think otherwise. You're a guest in this household, and you can be kicked out just as quickly as you were welcomed in. I just get so confused when I see these ladies that are using filters, a ton of makeup, drawn on eyebrows, fake eyelashes, and where you can still see the glue at the top of their head for hair that is not theirs. So confidently come on the screen and talk shit about men. <laughs> What's your name? Destiny Mira. What's your best pickup line? You look like you're my destiny. Yeah, that's what I'm on. Oh. That was ass. I'm your destiny? Maybe, potentially. It's possible, baby girl. Maybe. I don't know. This guy's just a simp, man. This girl's everyone's destiny. That's what she does for a living. She's a corn star, mate. And are we all going to ignore that tattoo on her arm? I mean, look at it. Yeah? If we flip that thing upside down, right? Originally, it's the, the pyramid with the eye on the top. You flip it upside down, 666. That just explains itself. You know, it's kind of kind of understandable why these corn stars have those satanic tattoos. Because that's what the industry is. It's evil. First of all, you're definitely a single woman because yes. you got the single woman tell. That damn smoke detector. Mm-hmm. How do you live with that? Um, the way that I've been living with just being a single woman is No, like no, 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 no. Specifically. The smoke detector that keeps chirping. How oh. do you live with that? Can you just elaborate more on like the what, what do you mean by the smoke? It detector? It, it keeps going beep. Like red you, flags. You're, you're, that, you're, that smoke detector that's beeping in the background. There's a oh. smoke detector. Um. It beeps every thirty seconds and it goes beep. I don't. I don't hear anything beeping. Do, did you just hear it again? Because I don't hear anything. Wait for it. Told you guys that they don't hear it after a while. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. She really thought it was a metaphor, but <laughs> there actually was a smoke detector going off in the background. I'm not sure if you heard it. I think she was waiting for the punchline, but it never came. Boys, you need to stop being so fucking available. Today, I'm going to tell you why you keep getting rejected, and I'm going to tell you the things that girls don't want you to know. First and foremost, girls aren't going for sex. And you know what? It is really sad that if you treat a girl right, she's still going to go to the guy that doesn't. But as a girl, I can't even tell you how many times I've heard another woman say, 
I really like him, but like, he's just too nice. Too nice? It's the sad truth, but girls in our generation see guys that are overly nice from the get-go as weaker. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. No. Do you think men and women can just be friends? Are one of them gay? No, straight guys only. No, <laughs> I, I, I really don't think so. This um, Tension? Yeah, it's too, it's too strong. I, I think it's possible. But. I also say this, I think girls can, mm -hmm. but like guys, they can't. Like yeah. girls, we like we can do oh, it. Oh, we can have a guy We're friend. chill. We're, like, we're like, friends. We're, like we can do like, it. But like, you know but what I mean? guys. Keep telling yourself that, darling. We can have guy friends, but guys can't have girlfriends. You're wrong, love. You're wrong. Of course they're going to say that because they're losing out. Modern women have normalized them having guy friends, these backup dancers, guys like vultures waiting for an opportunity to dig out your missus. Nah, man, that ain't happening in my book. But they all say, no, nope, no guy can be friends with a girl. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. But they all think they can have guy friends. They've normalized this bullshit. I know there's a saying that, that it's a numbers game, but there's also a saying that says stay in your lane. And I just feel like some of the creatures that come up to me with the confidence they have, I mean, a man really came up to me at the gas station and said, you caught my eye. How about we close him? Keep him, keep him sealed tight. Shut, actually. Because I'm not, I'm here to fill up my gas. Shut your f***ing mouth. Super quick and simple. Okay. Are you natural or not? Am I natural or not? That's for you guys to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so just guess. Huh? Take a wild guess. For the audience. What? Like they're they're gonna have to guess whether you're natural or not. Oh, they have to guess. I don't I'm, I don't know what they're gonna say. Well, unless you tell them. No, I'm I'm not. I'm natural. You're natural. Yeah. Lifetime natural. Yes. How do you think I keep my face? <laughs> so lifetime natural. And what division do you compete in? Bodybuilding. Okay. So men. Or sorry, women's bodybuilding. Yes. Okay. Stop the cap. She says she's natural, but she sounds like flipping Batman. The only thing natural in this video is the mic. And I don't know why she's on about how she kept her face. She looks like Homelander. Prompt is, I cheated on my ex. So we were just really young. We dated since high school. We realized that we had very different love languages. And then I was just always constantly searching that in other people. Yeah, like I messed up and then I hurt him a lot because I'm also his first girlfriend and everything. So. Like, everything, like, really came crashing down hard. How did you find out? It was, like, a friend that we hung out with in a group for, I think, like, about three years or so. She talked to him, and he talked to her behind my back. The girl that was with that guy at that time, I found out from her because she sent me messages that they deleted from each other. So it hurt, uh, like, really, really, really bad because uh, I'm, I'm a guy of respect, you know, and that's kind of disrespecting me. And you were in love with her. Yeah, it was. I mean, she was my first, and then I thought she was my last, too. What was it that made you want to cheat on? I don't know. Like, I always told him when we started being together, I was like, I hate cheaters. I got cheated on before, too. I think it's just more environmental factors, like how I am with my family. Like, I'm just, like, this perfect person. And then I think I always wanted to, like, self-destruct, self-sabotage. But he was, like, literally everything I ever had. Like, he was the best person, best boyfriend. He treated me right. Like, our love language was very different, but, like, I mean, he loved me, and I know that he loved me, but then I don't know what happened, and I, like, that's my biggest regret. After the cheating, I tried to make it work, you know, but it was still in my mind, in the back of my mind. The trust was gone. The next prompt is, since our separation, I've been with someone who's better in bed. So, Jen, after the breakup, yeah. there's someone else who's better. So, like, when I was with him, like, that's the best I ever had. And then, like, when we broke up, like, I was with someone that, like, really loved me, like, really, like, just gave me everything. Like in the short amount of time that, like, for eight years, I actually didn't deal with him. So that's why I think that love through sex was better in the sense that it was like love. And I think that's why I was missing from him was like, I couldn't receive love the way that he gave. Did you feel that makes you give your love? I, I thought I gave my all 100% of it because that's all I knew. So I, I gave my own. The guy literally asked, Why did you do it? And you gave all this. Waffle, excuse, bullshit. You're a 304, you're a bizzle. That's why you did it. That's why you did it. You got no self respect. We got different love language. They just give every load of shit you could think of. They give it out there and expect us to buy it. But they will never say, 
it's because I'm a dirty little cheat because that's exactly what she is and then on top of all that the next question you know was the guy you cheated with better in bed and she said yeah and she started giving all this spill in front of him and in front of thousands of people on the internet I mean if that isn't humiliation at its finest I don't know what is and that takes a next level cold-hearted person to do that she could have just said no no it wasn't just to not make him look the way she made him look but man it's happened to all of us bro see you in the gym